Donald Trump's ban on citizens of seven Muslim countries entering the US has shocked the world. We must not allow threats to human rights and the global rule of law to go unchallenged. At this time, it is vital that European leaders confront Trump and show solidarity with those he is seeking to victimise. This is why as Greens we were horrified by the behaviour of Prime Minister Theresa May, who seemed determined to position the UK as a supportive ally of the US and condone these outrages. Trump is also a catastrophe for our environment and climate. His gang of climate change deniers, paid for by the fossil fuel lobby, are a huge threat to communities across the globe as they face climate instability. Myron Abel, the man Trump has lined up to guide his attack on climate policy, has called Greens the greatest threat to freedom and prosperity. He has clearly identified Greens as the main enemy of his world of environmental destruction and corporate greed. It's our job to show him he is not wrong about that. That's why we were out in force in Brussels this morning, where he was speaking at a conference. I've been hugely encouraged to see so many people across the UK, Europe and the globe mobilising against Trump's misogynistic and racist values. Thousands of people attended the women's marches in cities across the world and thousands more are mobilising this week to protest against Trump's Muslim ban. A petition calling on the government to bar Trump from making an official state visit to the UK is heading towards two million signatures. And earlier this week, I took part in a spontaneous demonstration to oppose Trump receiving such an honor. It was a wonderful atmosphere in Downing Street. Trump and other far-right politicians use fear to control us. We need to work together to fight that fear. So please, join the resistance. Trump has united and energized us as never before. We can and we will defeat this tyranny.